another way to die There can be no other reason why You know, pushing the scene and coming Consequences we cannot deny We may reveal in time early 90s mike was rehearsing with his band a couple doors down from where i was with the band i was with the band he was with didn't seem like they were getting it together or going too far i, I never even heard their singer sing at the time <laughs> yeah you know he, he would show up but the guy would never sing it's true called up mike to tell him quit your band <laughs> you know? searching for a singer forced to take out an ad in the illinois entertainer i know we laugh about it now because we kind of padded it the, the ad a bit making it sound like we were on the verge of getting a record deal because we wanted to deal with somebody who was professional and every knucklehead you could think of showed up for these <laughs> and i had been on like 30 auditions already and i was a little jaded and i walked into the space and i'm wearing like jean shorts and sandals and a white t-shirt total north side chicago stoner boy and these guys looked like skid row <laughs> you know, flannel shirts maybe two buttons buttoned on the bottom and the jeans that are so frayed that maybe there's about a couple patches of actual jean left on them and mikey looked like one of the guys from testament he had long black hair and, you know and i'm like okay here we go again and you know it's all good and, i mean really he was the only guy that stepped up to the plate with all the other guys we auditioned we'd have to play a cover song because we got to hear these guys sing and david's like no nah, let's not play covers just play one of your ideas we start playing a riff we were working on. By the time the riff cycles back around, he just starts belting out this melody. It was just undeniable. Of course, they didn't tell me I was in for yeah. a while. I kind of, <laughs> yeah, we should, we should do a couple more practices together. You know, <laughs> very we nonchalant went, about it. We you know. went through a little difficult divorce with our last singer and weren't ready for marriage just yet. You know, was... <laughs> I left that day and you know, I, there was no question the precision that they were already had at that point. And truth be told is I wasn't going to go back for another practice because I didn't think that my voice could suit the aggressiveness of what they were already producing. I, I went home and, and, and my buddy Jordan, he said to me, he's like, look, man, I'm telling you what I heard today. You're an idiot if you don't go back. You guys created something there today and it's it's real. Maybe three months at mm -hmm. the most and we were already playing our first show. Came in on the third, the third record, record 10,000 Fists. They had a parting ways with their previous bass player. They announced on their website, if you want the position to try out for the bass player Disturbed, we're having open auditions. Even though I did previously know the guys from touring before and some of my other acts, we did OzFest together and did some other touring. When they put that on the website, I was like, well, what more can anyone ask for? Probably sold six or seven million at that point. We didn't want to just hand it over to anybody. So that's why we opened the doors and said, you know what, if a local guy walks in here and raises the bar, he gets the job. I walked in and kind of surprised him, like, hey, John, what are you doing here? Oh, I'm here for the gig. And there was about 280 or 300 bass players standing in line. Not everyone was a great player. A lot of people were just standing in line because they just wanted to meet the band. The decision was made shortly after that. Although he didn't know that. No, no, they messed with me, of course. I got a little call back from Jeff Attaglia, the manager. Well, the guys like you, but there's this other guy. The other guy's really good, and he knows all the songs. Guys want to have you back, but they want to make sure that you know all the songs. Okay, I has two records worth of material plus B-sides. He calls me on Friday, so we're going to fly you out Monday. Can you learn all the songs this weekend? And it was Easter. <laughs> Yes, I can. In the back of my head, I thought to myself, I wonder if they're messing with me. Gentle hazing. Yeah, Gentle. there's hardly anything that bad. Gentle. <laughs> Easy. The fun hey. part for us was when he shows up with his bass on Monday, we decided, <laughs> well, we're going to go to dinner before we jam. We ate and ate and tons of wine and he's looking at us like, how am I going to get up and stage and jam with all this Play food? And, right? So <laughs> these guys are animals. There's no way. And they're keep assuring me, nope, we're, but as soon as we finish, we're going to go jam. Raise their glasses and says, yeah, let's make a toast to the new plate bass player disturbed. He kind of looks at us like, so we're not going to jam? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't need another way to die. When we repent in time, the time bomb is to kick. You know what is this thing? Our future is fading. There it is. Hope will survive. It's just another way to die.